and welcome back YouTube and we are furiously repairing after the last battle um, okay oh all the the heart symbol there is a lot of love going around oh yes but our beloved little ships are moving forward and uh, the question is do we have enough fuel I, I'm not sure are collecting resources okay you two are both Ugh. I hate it that it's like ah okay this is better okay and you no I, I want you here oh. all right uh, so we are getting under attack by what is this a single desecrator hmm ah oh, come on Did he sub? Get up. Did he? Oh, come on. Uh, and Baba. Okay. Let's see uh, how well we're gonna deal with this one. That's the Desecrator, and that's the Gimura, Martyr, Dissector, Devourer, and Valkyrie. A lot of flying things. A lot of small flying things. Uh, so. The first DD sub needs to get up in the front there because she's gonna be like the primary thing to engage with. Yes, spawning everything. Well, whatever we can spawn in. And Subby, you're at the front, please. As much as possible. And we are at a place where we're most likely not gonna spawn in, but that's irrelevant. As long as we have the Baba. Baba into the into the battle. Yes, thingy. Okay. Alright. They're in. The sub is in. The sub is going into the water, which is exactly what she was supposed to be doing. And this is the Valkyrie. Okay. Um How far are we? Oh yeah, we are really, really far off. I didn't really thought that we're gonna be this far off. Um, well, we're taking tiny bits of damage. I'm not sure whether or not that's a consequence of friendly fire. Yeah, friendly fire. Yeah, they're, they're shooting, as you can see, each other into the ass. Ah, oh, like Christ, is this one? No. 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 This one? Ah. You know what? Just kill each other, yeah. Shoot each other to that. I, I don't really care anymore. It just. The dub AI in this game. It, and it just. How it sends all the ships into one single blob just so they guarantee to get shot by one another. That's, that's really annoying. Okay, but missiles are hitting, and the torpedoes are incoming up as well. Tons and tons of torpedo. It's just... <laughs> Hell below 80% in sinking. Will this stick now? Stick. I'm not sure. Three, two, one. Yes. We're there. We have killed the Valkyrie. We all have ignoring salvage, yes. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? It's like... Off. Which one is it? You're that one. Okay, you, you, you're you good. You're good. You're good that you have turned off. No, you're not good to be turned off. You. Okay. This will allow them to separate a bit. Not much though. And now, well, this is now a complete different story, you devouring little bastard than what it was before. I mean, yeah, now, now there is Sabi in range to shoot at you with its missiles. 
And that means you're gonna be going down much, much faster. Now, come on. Sabi? Missiles? Yes, missiles. Even though we're still gonna take quite a lot of damage from this, I'm guessing. AI dead. Well, oh, apparently something small must have spawned back there. An instant die from, I think, torpedoes. Yeah, this is the... The, 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 the sector. Well, it's... The devourer is getting hit and it is lagging my game to, to the ground, but... It is working. Well, it's working. We are getting there. Holy cripes. Oh, come on. Run away. Run away. <laughs> oh, come on. All the torpedoes in the world. Hit it. He's in the water. It would be nice if you guys would start hitting it with its torpedoes. I mean, especially those uh, engines at the back. Oh, we actually already took some. Actually took quite a lot. And more missiles. Okay. Uh, still took uh, quite a lot of damage there. Um, we're still running away. Still running away. This is like the slowest chase and runaway ever. Too damaged, really. Well, none of ours. Oh, it's one of those suits. I think it's blew up. I think it hit something as well. Okay. Um, that was definitely not good. But there are torpedoes. No, those are missiles. Where are the torpedoes? They are just sailing around, apparently. Um, <laughs> um, guys, we have a here problem. Kill it, and you have overturned. Oh, you have taken all the damage to your. Um, I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. It's then must be this one. All right, yeah, please try to repair the the one thing that keeps the ship stable. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, th there are four of them which are still trying to help. But, uh, yeah, fire your torpedoes into the air. Oh, well, derpy things. Yeah, you firing that gun, I think it's gonna overturn yet again. Well, it's too damaged. The devourer is finally down. Oh, well. But some of the ships have taken some serious damage in this case. You who got devoured. Oh, it's, it's the bloody Jimura. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very much very bad. Pretty much the weakness of these ships, very little of any aerial engagement capabilities. And of course we get the bloody Jimura to fight against. Ah. <sighs> But on the other hand, Veles, you are not really a threat as there are tons of torpedoes in the water that will catch you and they will kill you. Okay. Oops. Which one is it? This one? No, this one is still functional. One of them lost the AI. You did lost the AI, haven't you? No, you haven't. Not connected, how? 
the mainframe is right somewhere here. Hmm. Let's drive you forward just so you get yourself moving properly. I mean, it lost the pit, I think. No, it, the pit is still functional. It's just... Okay. Shielding is back on. Partial control over the... Weapon system is on, and it's not fully functional. Okay. We're just going around replacing ourselves with the AI and... You're doing something funky up as well. How the hell could you get yourself in a position like this? I'm guessing it ramped into something and overturned and that's what happened. I'm just guessing that's the case. And why are you firing your torpedoes all the way up there? Okay, at least uh, we're shooting at something. Would like to get something else into the game, just so that we can kill this thing somewhat faster. Could have a... Uh, how much we need? 5000, so if we get two of our ships in, out, it would should get us the Nicarmana. There. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna take too long. Um, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to get out, just because we need something that has an aerial capability, engagement capabilities. And... Well, it's getting hit now. And something already fell off. I think it... Yeah, the gun at the front there. It just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just better that it is like this, um, because... The really that one weakness, you know, not having any anti-flying things capabilities. I think it, I think it may be a bit too much of a disability, just a tiny, tiny bit too much. I mean, he, here they can engage it, but uh, the moment it gets close enough, uh, they will no longer be able to shoot it. And it's also falling down because I think it lost some of its engine power and can't support itself in the air anymore as of that reason and yeah hmm oh come on kill it kill it now it's in the water now your torpedoes work okay yeah big holes nice explosions well, oh, this can not gonna take us long here now. The amount of, of pretty much damage taken here is it not going to survive? Not in a hundred years. It just yeah, it's that. I kind of like how this this rear section here looks on this this thing, and and the overall shape, but I don't like the the front of it all that much. It is kind of a cool looking design. You're also quite sizable. I don't know, how, how big is this thing? Can we tell? No? Jimura. Yeah, it must be somewhere about 15,000 or so in volume. 12 to 15, somewhere there. So it's pretty big ship. Not particularly powerful, but still causes us problem because we are definitely not having an, enough anti-air. Gonna have to mix it, maybe making like one specific anti-air, one just for anti-aerial targets. Hmm. Yes, that would most likely be the better choice, da? Okay. <coughs> and now it's the last one, the Desecrator, come on. We all know you can spawn in and we all know that you're kind of dumb. Just put your torpedoes into the water and let it rip. Um, 
Oh yeah, we're gonna go on to the Necromana because I'm really... Oh Christ, I hate it when it switches cameras like that. I so much bloody hate that. Ah. Shoot there. Center, center, not the rear, center of the ship. Ah. I mean, we're definitely gonna be able to take a couple of hits, but I don't want too much hits to be taken by the ship. Okay. I have no idea why the hell it's shooting at the propulsion. I mean, it's just it's so ridiculous. Just don't do it. It's so silly. But it does exactly that. And it, I so freaking hate it. That you can't set the AI to actually shoot, you know, at anything but this odd random crap that I don't think anybody likes in particular. It just takes so much of the efficiency of the ship away. It just does. Even though, okay, that's it. We're gonna be fine past this point. I mean, there's still uh, some light guns on it, but uh, we should be fine there. But I don't know what the hell is here in the back end of these ships that everybody wants to shoot at. I just don't get that one. I mean, is, are they trying to shoot the air pumps? This thing? The AI? Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah, well, th that's like the priority that needs to get fixed in this game is setting up the AI properly because currently it's something of a hit and miss kind of thing with it. And I think we have, yeah, we have, we have, um, we are climbing the mountains. I have this odd feeling that we might explode here. <laughs> oh, come on. Get yourself over. I think we got stuck on a couple of blocks now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're getting off. We're getting off. <laughs> there we go. We're off. Taking unnecessary damage in, in this sort of cases. Just. Ah. Uh, oh well. But hopefully, once we take this second resource that is right, right in this position, that we're gonna be able to afford more vessels. As. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't actually expect that we're gonna be having that sort of a problem with white flares. Uh, but I mean, it's it's at the same time, you know, you have problems, you build a ship, you improve. That's that's kind of a motto, even though we are kind of also being cheeky and just having more ships than the enemy. Well, more ships per engagement, and that does help a lot. And you're dead. You actually have this big metal box. You're, you're having your fuel in a big metal box are you kidding me what kind of a waste and they couldn't put this heavy armor around the bloody turret <sighs> oh and the ai is, is having another big heavy metal box i just and do take note the white flare ship do actually have a layer of heavy armor but it's it, it does not serve enough of a protection against uh, bigger caliber guns um, a single layer is just not good enough. You need, you know, proper amount of shielding and the turrets need to be properly placed up to be properly protected from this sort of stuff. Or they're gonna explode nonetheless. Meh. No shells loaded. Oh. Belt fed out a lot of Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be good enough. Now... White Flay Fortress, this is pretty much, I think we're gonna get like a mission thingy done here. Should we just send the Corant up there and we're gonna send the rest on there. Um, because it's one of the like objectives, it's it's this base. Um, 
Yeah, you guys go all down here and we're gonna be attacking this high Lorham or whatever it's called. And the Coron gonna go and uh, deal with the base. Uh, right. No. I order them, you know, to go from here to here and it does this huge loop because from the depths. Oh, I freaking hate you from time to time, I must say that. What do they have here? Executioner turret, executioner turret, sacrificer. You know what, I begin the battle. I think that the only thing we actually need is the Necromana to be getting into the game and that's gonna be it. Uh, yeah. Like that. And everybody else, stay out of it, please. Or the second plane can, can have. Even though I have this odd feeling that it can just um, crash into something. Yeah. We are here, yeah sure, I'm here. Also, one more problem, you can't set up the AI, like I'm gonna turn the AI off at this point. Oh, come on. Really? You're not gonna be crushy crushy now, you know. <sighs> ah, Christ, that's the wrong button. Come on. Okay, well, pretty much I, I set it up to be in a decent enough position, just so that that uh, mortar cannon there can just, you know, obliterate stuff. <laughs> this is what the mortar cannon was pretty much designed to uh, to do, just um, yeah, wallow one one shell after another at somewhat of uh, ground targets that are slightly bit hidden from from direct view but that's not a problem because you have an arc of of well you have pretty bad arcs well bad arc in this case it's a good arc because <laughs> you can shoot over stuff all right we are slowly killing them Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes, destruction. That chaos. Spikes. The White Flare is known for building spiky ships. Um, It, is, it must be somewhat of embarrassing when you have to like clean the leaves of the roof or something like that. Just, uh, <laughs> you know, spikes everywhere. <laughs> oh well. We are... I am I'm slightly taking control over the vessel. Just uh, to try and turn it up a bit so that the rear gun gets a bit better of an angle I think it doesn't have a good one and it's shooting something is it missing is it trying to hit like the top of the tower there hmm I'm not sure I think it was just trying to hit like like the top the flag post top of the tower and it was just shooting over it as yes, it was missing those shells are not the most accurate thing around but as you can see, dealing with ground targets, yeah, no problem for our mortar cannons. And well, there you see the subby because ramming herself into an island because the its, it's AI was not turned off. Silly bugger. I did say that you are also gonna get like a mortar cannon at some point in your bigger variant. But, well, we're gonna see about that one. Well, it's the last of the great enemies of such a high deadly proportions. It's, uh, it's an enclave. 
Yeah, I don't think it's gonna survive for long. Taking command. You guys really? You, you bloody serious? Have you just spawned in and just went for? Oh, I'm gonna ram a friendly. Holy cripes! And it just doesn't get it, does it? Ah. Oh. Well, it's too damaged. The enclave is too damaged, so this battle will be over relatively shortly. Well, it is over. And even my vessels figure out at this point that I, it's th there is absolute no point of shooting any further. And yes, we have managed to kill it. And this is gonna be pretty much the end of this episode, because if I go in another battle, it's gonna take me another 10 minutes. Um, so we're gonna have to see the current up uh, next episode, blasting up the main, the base of faction power for the White Flares, and that is the White Flare Fortress. Really? It has that such of a boring name that is? They, they have to make another name for this. White Flare Fortress? Oh, come on. What about like the Doom City or something like that? That would be interesting, but... White Flare for uh, that just ah uh, no 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 they have to rename it. So yeah, well this is gonna be it as I said, and uh, see ya.